is happening. We finally have them. Plugins. If you haven't been a part of the new AI news, check this out. When I go into my chat GPT, we got browsing in plugins betas. So what does this mean? Why is this here? Actually, how do you get this? Because it's not in there by default. I only found this out through Matt Wolf, who has a great YouTube channel. But if I go to the bottom left here and then click on settings, then I have to go to beta features right here. And you have to make sure that you have web browsing and plugins on. This is how you're going to be able to test this out. Now, this will change the stability of your capabilities while using this application. But good Lord, it's really fun to play around with. So first of all, let's showcase browsing. So clicking on browsing here, I can then type out what I'm looking for, which is what are the most popular sentence structure styles for growth oriented tweets on Twitter. And then you'll see here that it's gonna be browsing the web. Now, right here, if I click on this, you'll see that it's searched this specific query. Oh my God. And then it's gonna show you the references. Very similar to what you have in Bing AI. I've made videos on that before, but yeah, now we click on this and we can see the references here. The scientific guide to writing great tweets, how to get more tweets. So it's gonna utilize the information from this article and then give me an answer in a better format. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Now I will admit, it's taking a hot minute. It's gonna have to read the content and then spit it back out. But let us understand something. This is gonna go through so much information and once it ends up working and this failure doesn't happen and the AI model gets trained on it better, we, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be using a tool that is mind boggling with the amount of information it's filled with. Now, after it finished browsing, you can see it's gonna give us some information here. Well, there isn't a definitive guide to the most popular sentence structures for growth-oriented tweets. There are several best practices that can be followed for better engagement and visibility. Know the difference between voice and tone. Engage with your audience. Reply mention. Solid, solid advice. Utilizing some sources that obviously are now above tier and are reference uh, buffer mainly. It's giving a very well-rounded answer here. Oh. It was more than just Buffer, or all of these are just Buffer. Maybe they're multiple Buffer articles. No, it's the same article, but I'm sure the AI model is learning, so that's good to know, though. Now, let me ask it another question that I actually would find more interesting. What are three new topics in AI from last week? And what I'm gonna find interesting about this is whether it's gonna give me the ability to see new information. As you can see here, the links that it's looking for, we got CNN, don't get political, don't get political, don't get political. But you can see there's multiple different search options here. So we have AI news, May 2023, latest developments in AI 2023. So what I'm wondering from a search standpoint is whether this is just clicking on what's like first in the search results. So I'm going to check this out while it's pumping it out. Get rid of the quotes. Eh, not necessarily from Google, maybe from Bing though. Hey, look at that. Microsoft's ChatGPT integration, Microsoft and OpenAI have furthered deep in their partnership with the integration of Bing search engine into the capability of ChatGPT. All right, wait, so let's check this out in Bing. No, not even the first one there. I'm curious then how it's getting its first search result. Hmm. Bing's new plugins. This was announced. You can see where these are referenced from, CNN, and then this one's gonna be from Reuters, and the White House is gonna study the risks to AI. Wow, so you're able to get news from here. Now, what if I was able to, using a third-party application like make.com or Zapier, link this news browsing capability with an article generator? or with a script generator for a video for a news channel. This is the kind of stuff that you can hopefully be able to do with this tool. It's kind of crazy how much you can leverage this stuff now. Let's dive into the plugins really quick and just show you what there are. There are not a lot of them. Uh, the ones that are there, I won't lie to you, uh, are pretty buggy. This is like the general sentiment is that it's a bug fest right now, but I am curious to see some of these. So first of all, you can see that you can dive into PDF documents, which is pretty cool. I'm sure that's gonna be helpful. You can, oh, use a web pilot. However, that kind of looks like a ripoff of Microsoft's uh, pilots. I don't really like that. I'm sure all of these are vetted by OpenAI. Don't quote me on that, but I'd hope so since there's so little of them. You can create charts in here, okay? And you can install Zapier. That's cool, okay, whoa, hold up, what? Um. Notion? No. Are we for real right? Is that, am I getting punked? You've been ex punk. <laughs> Wait, a, what? This is direct Zapier integration. Holy what? Sorry, I'm just reacting in real time right now. You can have AI guess the field, what? I don't know how to react right now. 
Find page by title. Let's do find database item. I'm just gonna mess around with this database. All right, set a specific value. Obviously you can have it guess, but content calendar, red. Wow, have AI guess a value for this field. That's insane. That's insane. It can natural language put this stuff in? I don't even wanna know. All right, let's check it out. I'm sure it's gonna be insane. Now if I click on this, we can enable it or unenable it. And then going into the plugin store again, just wanna see how settings works. You can either uninstall it. So let's first try this Zapier integration. What YouTube video and my Notion content calendar is titled. I mean, actually, what information can you give me about? No way, This there's no way this is gonna work, right? Like I don't, there's no way, hmm. Using Zapier and figured it out. Holy, what? There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. I'm being punked, I'm being punked. Okay, he needs contra, okay. I'm gonna click here to confirm. Oh my God, run. Let's go back here though. Ah, I see, so it had a bunch of different AI fields guessing and stuff. So it it, it is doing a decent job. It just didn't get a lot of the, the, the things right. So, all right, I messed with this, but you can see how it works. It's doing a fetch of the information through this. Really cool, really cool stuff. I'm gonna stop nerding out now. There's gotta be a litany of different ways you can maybe import this into different Notion pages or different pages in general, add tasks and Asana. I mean, Zapier's got so many different integrations. So I'm just, I'm done nerding out for this video. If you want more on this topic, please let me know and let me know what your thoughts are on this video on how to improve your productivity even more.